everybody for attending, and we have a great um, highlight, um, one of many highlights. We have Michelle Victorious, who I consider the queen of social media. I just want to thank each and every one of you for spending your valuable time with us here today. Today, you learned about Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn. So let's not work harder, we need to work smarter because social media, especially for government, is all about working more efficiently. And social media and social networking sites offer you now the ability to plug your windmill to the grid and uh, you know, receive and share energy with others. And it's, a, it's a very, very powerful thing. We have to give Neil a shout out because we're celebrating the launch of his book today. What's it called and where can they get it? It's called The Windmill Networking Approach to Understanding leveraging and maximizing LinkedIn. Uh, it is not for sale yet. It should be for sale on Amazon October 16th. You taught the class on? YouTube. So we talked about YouTube online video and how government agencies can use online video to get their message out, connect with constituents, and really just help their public affairs departments reach uh, new people in new ways. How'd it go today? It went extremely well. I'm so pleased that people walked out of the workshops with so much more information mm -hmm. about Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook, and they were energized and inspired by really valuable information and information that will help them make use of their time better. Everybody is so busy and social media is another platform to utilize so that we can be more efficient, more energized, and be more effective and empowered to do what we do in communicating with the public. Well, I think, you know, you're seeing every day more and more information available to people. Um, it's great to see government, you know, sort of playing a bit of catch up in this and sharing information because I know on my Twitter account there's nothing better than finding out stuff, whether a road is closed, there's a fire in your neighborhood, uh, you know, uh, it'd be neat to see people like OCTA, you know, giving you information, I'm sure sometime soon, that if you're a fan of Route 29, you can get tweeted that it's 15 minutes late or it's not running today. I mean, that stuff's really helpful for people and now you can carry it in your purse or your, you know, your pocket, you know, coming to your cell phone and stuff.